वेलकम टू नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल बेस्ड ऑन सुपरमैस एनालिसिस इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो यू कैन सी वेरी सिंपल क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन सुपरमैस एनालिसिस हियर आई बी एक्सप्लेनिंग यू बिट ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन इन विच कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी विल बी लिटल मोर सो हियर वी विल बी अप्लाइंग मैश एनालिसिस आफ्टर दैट आई एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ वी कैन अप्लाई super mesh analysis so you see here we have circuit and in this circuit we are little bit to find power dissipation across two ohm resistance so here we are little bit to find how much power is getting dissipated right so here by observing this circuit we can clearly say there will be four different loops i'll be considering this as loop 1 first you see and all the loops that i'll be considering in clockwise direction only it will make sure your calculation will be simpler one now you see this is second loop that i'm going to consider then i'll be considering this as loop 3 and let me consider this loop as loop 4 you can give any number as per your wish right now let us solve this question step by step so if you observe this fourth loop so in this fourth loop we have current source right that is of 5 ampere so directly i can say through loop 4 current is 5 ampere so one equation that is already solved here right now if you observe see in this loop we have current source of 4 ampere current right so if you observe in this 4 ampere current i2 is there in the direction of 4 ampere and i3 that is there in the opposite direction of 4 ampere so i can say i2 minus i3 that will be equals to 4 ampere and let us say this is our equation 1 right so whenever you see any circuit and if you apply mesh analysis first of all you will have to resolve current sources so you see 5 ampere current is there in loop 4 so i4 is equals to 5 and see this 4 ampere current source that is what i2 minus i3 right so that is making our loop one equation right now here we are dealing with to find current right and once you consider all the current source you will have to make it as open circuit and you will have to consider a super mesh loop means bigger loop that you will have to consider so you see now what i'll do is i'll be considering this 4 ampere current source as open circuit and i'll be considering this bigger loop in which i'll apply kvl that is what my super mesh loop so you see in this bigger loop how many voltage sources are there so you see we have one voltage source that is this right and if you observe through this voltage source value is 6 ia and ia that is this so you can see see i3 that is equals to ia right i3 is equals to ia so this voltage source value that will be 6 i3 that i can say and that is happening from minus to plus direction so i can say 6 i3 that is equals to now in this loop we have two ohm resistance so 2 into current is how much current is i3 minus i1 so i need to say i3 Minus I one into two for this. Then you see five ohm resistor is there through which current is I three, which is there in the direction of this loop. So I need to say plus five I three. Then if you see this loop, we have this three ohm resistor through which current is I three minus I four. So plus three into I three minus I four. Then you see we have four ohm resistance. through which current is i2 minus i4 so i'm writing plus 4 into i2 minus i4 right 
Now you see I4 is equals to 5 ampere. So I just need to place I4 is equals to 5 ampere, right? So you see this will be three, minus 15 means 3 into minus 5 and this will be 4 into minus 5 so that is minus 20 so this will be minus 35 over this side over this side it will be plus 35. Now over other side I need to write I1 terms first so minus 2 I1 that is there with us then I will be considering I2 terms so I2 term is 4 I2 so I am writing 4 I2 then I3 terms so you see 2 I3 plus 5 I3 7 I3 plus 3 I3 that is 10 I3 and over other side 6 I3 is there so I need to say it is plus 4 I3 so this is our equation 2 now we have two equations right and I can have one more equation here so we will be having three equations and three unknown so let us apply KVL in loop 1 so I need to see how many voltage source are there so you see 60 voltage source that is happening from minus to plus so I need to write plus 60 then see 6 IA voltage source IA is I3 so 6 I3 voltage source that is happening in this loop from plus to minus so I need to write minus 6 I3 and that is equals to only 2 ohm resistance through which we need to find how much voltage drop is happening so due to loop 1 current through 2 ohm is I1 minus I3 so this will be 2 into I1 minus I3 let us simplify this further so 60 is equals to 2 I1 and this 6 I3 that will go on other side so that will be plus 6 I3 minus 2 I3 that will make it to 4 I3 so this is our equation 3 so now we have three equations let me rewrite those three equations in sequence after that I'll solve those three equations so now you can observe I have written these three equations here now let us solve I1 I2 I3 by applying matrix so I'll be finding first delta value so that will be as per this coefficients so this will be 0 1 minus 1 this will be minus 2, 4, 4 and this will be 2, 0, 4 and if you solve this then you will be getting that is 24. Now let us find the value of delta 1. So in delta 1 first column that will get replaced by this elements. So this will be 4, 35, 60 and these elements will be same. So 1, 4, 0 minus 1 4 and 4 and if you solve this matrix you will be getting that is 4 0 4 now let us write the coefficients of delta 2 so in delta 2 I need to replace second column with this element so this will be 4 35 60 and then this will be 0 minus 2 2 and this is minus 1 4 4 and if you solve this then you will be getting this matrix is equals to 2 5 4 now let us calculate delta 3 so in delta 3 this third column that will be this elements so that will be 4 35 60 and this elements will be as it is 0 1 minus 2 4 and 2 0 and if you solve this then you will be getting delta 3 is 158 so now we got the value of delta delta 1 delta 2 and delta 3 so that will be resulting into current so i1 that is delta 1 by delta so delta 1 is 404 delta is 24 so this value of i1 that is 16.83 ampere if you solve I2 that is delta 2 by delta delta 2 is 254 delta is 24 so if you solve this this will be 10.58 ampere if you want to calculate I3 so that is delta 3 by delta 
delta 3 is 158 and delta is 24 so this is 6.58 ampere so now we got the value of i1 i2 and i3 now you see what is our question our question is find the power dissipated across 2 ohm resistor so this 2 ohm resistor that is having current i1 minus i3 or i3 minus i1 right power dissipation will be positive only right so current square into r i square r that much amount of power dissipation happens so i1 minus i3 or i3 minus i1 that much amount of current is flowing through i resistor 2 now you see i1 that is 16.83 and I3 that is 6.58 so I can say current through 2 ohm resistor is I1 minus I3 and that is 16.83 minus 6.58 so that will be 10.25 ampere so power dissipation that is I square R that is 10.25 square into resistance of 2 ohm and if you solve this you will be getting that is somewhat 210 volt so that is how we can identify how much power is getting dissipated and this is what super mesh analysis you can observe so in super mesh analysis we will be having current source first identify current as per current source then consider that as open circuit then apply KVL to big loop that will be super mesh loop that one can say and then you just resolve equations so that is a bit lengthy process but that is how you will get improve in electronics I hope you have understood this thank you so much for watching this video